Okay, gangly dang, this is what we're doing today. When last we left our heroes, they had learned a basic knife cutting pattern with a forward grip uh, known as crisscross deadly sauce. Ten cuts. One, two, talk to it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then we added in the isolation avoidance. This is the defensive side. We added in the defensive isolation avoidance, the check, the counter cut, and the zoning for each of those. So if you're not familiar with what I was just talking about, you need to go back and look at the first two videos. Look at the basic cutting pattern video, and then look at the defensive side where you're handling your checks and your counter cuts. Today what we're going to do is we're going to explore that same basic cutting pattern and the checks and the counter cuts, but with reverse grip, the ice pick grip, yeah? So we've just been doing this, but now we're switching it to this. So here we have the basic cutting pattern once again. Think about the grip, the hand, leading with the thumb on these first two cuts. Almost as if the grip and the handle were a rocket and the blade was the vapor trail. And the way I'm holding it again, ice pick grip, the knuckles and the true edge of the blade are facing out at my opponent. So first cut, number one cut, goes from right to left. We're supposed to be cutting across the belly. So palm down, thumb leading the way as I cut across the belly, one. Flip that rocket ship over. We're cutting from left to right across the belly, two. Then I'm gonna to talk to that blade like I have been, drop it down here by my left hip. Now the rocket ship is traveling diagonally from low left to high right across my partner's body. Rocket, vapor trail. Drop it down here. Low right to high left. Rocket ship, vapor trail. Now we're gonna change up the five just a little bit. It's up here by my left shoulder because I just did the four cut. I'm going to flip it up like this to where my knuckles and true edge are out this way. Be a little crook in my arm like this. And I'm going to still cut down that right side of their body, but like this. Then I'm going to draw it straight back and plunge it into the belly for the six. Ugh. Then I'm going to pick it up again and I'm going to pick it up over my left shoulder and we're going to do a descending dive. Diagonal cut from high left to low right across their body. I flip it over, my palm is now up. Thumb pointing down, rocket ship, vapor trail. Here goes the rocket, down and through the body. Pick it up, palm down. Thumb is the rocket ship, blade is the vapor trail. Send that rocket down diagonal. So that was seven and eight, look at those again. Seven and eight. Now the nine, picking it up, sending it straight across, palm up, rocket ship, vapor trail, right across the throat area. Now the 10, I just pick it straight up for an ice pick stab straight in the neck, uh, side of the neck. Yeah? So here it is once again. Watch, leading with the thumb. I'm leading with the thumb on everything except for the five, the six, and the 10 cut. Here we are. One, palm is down. Two, palm is up. Pick up, talk to it. Drop it down here by my hip. Three, send the thumb skyward. Drop it down. Four, send the thumb skyward. Five, flip it. Knuckles out, blade out. Push it down through the body. Draw it back. Here comes the six. Stab it straight in. Here we go, here's the seven. I'm gonna pick it up, turn it over, my palm is up. Dive bomb that thing, rocket ship, down. Here comes the eight, pick it up, palm down, rocket ship. There goes the eight. Pick it up, palm up, going straight across the throat. Nine, ice pick grip, 10, yeah? And go ahead and flow it through, we're gonna add in those stops again. We had a stop on a six and a 10, yeah? Here it is, just flowing together. All I'm doing is counting this time. Watch the thumb and which way the palm is facing. True edge, always facing my partner. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah? Great. Okay, gang. So you just had some practice practicing the crisscross deadly sauce knife cutting pattern with the ice pick grip. Now we're going to add in the isolation avoidances, the checks, the countercuts, and the zoning using the same grip. And so once again, if you've done your homework at home, you are going to need your do-it-yourself stage combat partner. Your stage combat partner. All right, so here is your stage combat partner. Now, first we're gonna just be looking at how the countercut works with this. We're not gonna worry about the pattern right now. So here's my arm out here. And here's my arm out here. Here's how the countercut works. Again, we're going cross purpose from each other. Anytime or initially we were doing our countercuts with our, our forward grip, across the body, across like this. Our hands are crossing. While we're checking one way, we're cutting the other way. Checking one way, cutting the other way. Same thing, only completely different with the ice pick grip. Checking, countercutting. Checking, countercutting. So we get this action going. Now, it'll be pretty much the same on most of our checks and countercuts with the crisscross deadly sauce pattern, except some of them we're gonna have to change whether we're going on top or underneath. You'll see when we get to it. Okay, gang, so now we're gonna be looking at the isolation, the check, the countercut, and the zoning with the ice pick grip. First two cuts in the pattern, the one and the two. The partner is cutting from right to left across the body, all right? so. As we're going super slow-mo, first thing, isolates. Tell the story of where we're almost getting cut. Check, I place the hand on the back, the counter cut, pull it through right on top, and then a little bit of zone. Yeah, one more time, look at that one again. Here comes the one, isolation, check, counter cut, zone. Here comes the number two, he flips it over and now he's cutting from left to right. Isolation, check, counter cut. Yeah, notice how I had to do that again? Look at it one more time. Now I'm gonna do it without the check. I'm just doing the counter cut. One, flip it over, two. But now I'm throwing that check in there. Here it comes again. All right, ready? One, two. Got it, awesome. So moving on. Now we've got Okay gang, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna explore the cuts three and four, the rising diagonal cuts. We just had the one and two, they were going straight across the belly. Now it starts over here because the partner takes it over, he puts it by his left hip, and he's going to be doing a diagonal cut from low to high across my body. The check is the same check we've been doing, yeah? But what we could do, uh, I mean, I could come over the top like this with the counter cut. That feels a little awkward. I want to add a little more style. We're going to come up underneath that thing with the counter cut. So I'm still doing the same isolation, avoidance, check, and then I get up under it as it travels past me, past that point of isolation, and I cut it, counter cut underneath and send it on its merry way. Let's look at that again. So it's starting down on the low there. I isolate, avoid, check, and then I trail back up under it and counter cut underneath. Yeah, I like that. Sweet, now he drops it down by that hip down there, and he's cutting from here up to there. All right, so as he does so, I'm getting up under it again. Now I'm countercutting on top once more. So the three, I countercut underneath. The four, I'm countercutting on top. Sending it on its way, countercutting over the top. Let's look at the three and four again, nice and easy. All right, so he takes it down. Isolate, check, countercut. Send it on its way and zone. Then isolate, check, countercut, send it on its way, zone. Yeah? Look at them again one more time because these are just a little different. We'll go slow and you'll just watch. I won't even talk. Yeah. Sweet. All right, so now the five. My little articulated friend here can't really do the five the way it's supposed to look. So he's just gonna pick it up from that low, or from that high position and take it down low, down my body, yeah? 
it's the same thing, the check countercut. Yeah, let's look at it again. He just got through with the four and he went from low to high, from low to high and low to high. I just sent him off that way. So he's coming straight down, trying to cut me there. Isolate, check, countercut. Done. There's no zone at this one. All right, then he draws it straight back. Different scenario here. Double check, boop, and now we've got the reverse grip fillet. Whoosh. Yeah, you can even throw a little extra twist into it. Almost like I'm carving a giant C of flesh out of his forearm. So instead of just the nice, you know, thick fillet up thing, I'm getting a little divot, taking a little divot out of his arm. Nice big curve. All right, one more time. Let's look at the five and the six. He's coming straight down. Isolate, check, countercut. He draws it straight back. I think I get to do something. Oh no, I'm still in danger. Double check, carve that big C out of that arm. Nice big chunk goes plop. Excellent. Okay, right. gang. So now we're doing the seven and eight. We're gonna switch. He's gonna go from high left to low right. I get up under it, check it here, isolate myself, counter cut, send it on its way in zone. Then he picks it up high over here for the eight. I get up under it, I send it up over my head, I get up under it, counter cut, boom. Seven and eight again, one more time. All right, it's up there. Isolate, check, counter cut, zone. It's coming from up high here. Isolate, check, counter cut, zone, yeah? All right, now, the nine. Here comes the nine, coming straight across the throat from here to there. I get up under it like I have been, do my little matrix isolation, check it, cut it underneath. Look at it one more time. Here to here, isolate, get out of the way, check, counter cut, zone. All right, now he's picking up that 10 and trying to come straight into the neck. Boom, I'm doing my block. Remember, this one is more of an oppositional block, not so much a check, because I'm stopping his momentum completely, not redirecting him or sending him on the way he was going already. I'm stopping him completely. So I stop here. And then what I want to do now is earlier we were not doing a counter cut when we were in our forward grip. But now we're in our ice pick grip. I love the idea of bringing it up under for a counter cut. And then while it's up here, reaching across the body and stabbing it down into the left side of the partner to where it's going down between the collarbone and the shoulder muscle and down into the chamber. And what's down here? Trying to pump some blood. Blah, 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 blah. All right, here we go. One more time. Here comes the nine into the 10 again. <laughs> so the nine, matrix isolate that thing. Get up under there. Check, counter cut. Oh no, he's gonna try and stab me in the neck. Isolate, check, counter cut, stab, twist. Yeah, so stick it down in and stir. All right, here it is, just doing it one more time. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the whole pattern, nice and easy, all the isolations, all the checks, all the counter cuts, all the zoning, ice pick all the time. All right, here we go. So he's coming at me. One, isolate, check, counter cut, zone. Two, isolate, check, counter cut, zone. Three, he takes it over and it's traveling up and I'm isolating, check, cut underneath, and zone. Then it's coming from low to high here. Isolate, check, counter cut, zone. Now, here comes the five, straight down. Isolate, counter cut, boom. I think I get to do something. He's coming straight in for the six. Isolate, double check, fillet, but with a nice big C. Now, he's bringing it up and over. We're going from high to low, I'm getting up underneath. Isolate, check, counter cut, zone. Underneath it again, isolate, check, counter cut, zone. Here comes that nine coming across my throat. Oh no, matrix that isolation. Check, counter cut, zone. Here comes that 10. Check, oppositional block. Counter cut, stab it down in, stir the T. 
One more time, just numbers, no talking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah? Excellent. Okay, one final time, no talking, just flowing with my ice pick grip through the crisscross deadly sauce with all the isolations, checks, countercuts, zoning. Okay, gang. So that is exploring the crisscross deadly sauce with our ice pick grip. Cutting pattern, isolations, checks, countercuts, zoning. If you need to go back, look at the first two videos and then come back to this one. Have fun. If you have any questions, holler at me. I'm here for you.